is Vito Scaletta. I was born in Sicily in 1925. That little guy's me. I'm standing there with my parents and my sister Francesca in front of our old house. I don't really remember too much about the old country, except that we were pretty hard up. And then one day my father decided it was time to move away. Away from Sicily, across the ocean, to start a new life in America. Never in my life had I seen anything as fantastic as Empire Bay. It was beautiful. On the other hand, I'd never seen anything filthier, more disgusting than our new shithole of an apartment. The American Dream. It was more like a nightmare. My father started working at the port for the guy who arranged our immigration. It was backbreaking work. And what little money he made mostly went towards booze. Eventually my parents sent me to school. I had to learn English. I sure as hell wasn't going to do that in a neighborhood full of Italians. That's where I met Joe. Come on, Vito, hurry it up. We ain't got all night. Over time, Joe and I got to be best friends. And since we were both poor and there wasn't much work around, oh shit, we started a little business of our own. Freeze! Police! Stop! Vito, this way! Throw me to bed! Stop! I'm gonna shoot! Shit. Okay, you bastard. Spread your legs. Fuck. Now put your hands on the fence. I'm sorry. Well, that one time it didn't work out so good. The year was 1943. America was at war. And the army was looking for guys who spoke the language to help with the invasion of Sicily. I was 18. And anything seemed better than jail. Who says you can't go home again? Operation Husky. I was assigned to the 504th Parachute Infantry. On the 11th of July, we were supposed to be dropped over the southern coast of Sicily. But we got hit by flak and had to bail out. Way behind enemy lines. Only three of us made it. If it wasn't for the local resistance, we wouldn't have had a chance. So when Mussolini's soldiers came into the town and started rounding everybody up, we decided to return the favor. Se nessuno parla, quest'uomo morirà. Eh? No, no, eh? Per favore, no. No, no. All right, Scaletta. Allora, traditori! Pensavate di poter giocare con noi? Di tradirci? Avete pensato male? What the hell are you doing? Take come out the guy on the steps. Traditori. The other general is coming out. We got a crowd of top six men. Behind the sandbag. Avanti, Mariano Marchese. Wake up. They're falling back. Let's move. On me. All right. You and Williams take out that MG, then find the prisoners. We're gonna need every man we can get. Hey, Scaletta, over here! 
Hey, Skeletta! Over here, man! Skeletta, get in that window! Now! Nabu, be cool! Ain't getting through this way. You got a grenade, Skeletta. This will be a great fucking time to use it. Put a grenade through the window! Skeletta, you alive? Yeah, just about. Well then get off your ass and let's move it. Whoa. Grab oh. all the ammo you can carry. Look. This might be our last chance. Cosa è successo? Sei Have the prisoners upstairs. Clear the second floor. Skeletta, you take point. Right behind you. Non c'è puti di fare. Kick it in! Shit. Looks like we're going this way. Come on. Oh shit! I'm in these fucking burger! Give us a fuck! Just keep shooting! What in the hell does it look like I'm doing? Oh, more shooting, less talking! Hey, bye bye me, asshole! I will never 
Arrivano avo dei vaccisti! Ottano le bozzi! Sì, dai, 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 See that gun on the balcony, Scaletta? Get on it! The police guys get inside! We're fucked! Oh shit, they got artillery! Get inside! Now! Dicevo al mio amico di stare attento. Fregatene di fare attenzione, fai ciò che ti è stato detto! I can't see him, but I can smell him. Ma che diavolo sta dicendo? Chi si crede di essere? Un'offerta da fare! Ma è davvero Don Calò? Cacetto! Un congè quando si amareta come cucina. Ma chi è quello? Lo conoscete? Eh, lo conoscono tutti. Don Calò è un uomo d'onore. È uno stupido trucco degli americani, non ditemi che gli credete. No, è davvero Don Calò. Ogni tanto dovessi ascoltare i consigli di noiazzi del posto. Ci rendiamo. Sapete che potete affidarvi di me. Che ne dite, eh? Don Calò, the head of the Sicilian mob. An entire garrison of troops surrendered that day. Why? because he told them to. A few years later, the Nazis put a bullet in me. I was in the hospital for a bit, and then I got a month's leave so I could go home. At least for a little while. Vito! Over here! Joe! Hey, hey, hey! Welcome home, buddy. How'd you know? I got my sources. Come on, let's take a ride. Nice car. Comes with the territory. I know you're itching to get home, but first, let's get a beer. Yeah, sure. There it is. Empire Bay. Tell the truth, you miss it? Hey, does a bear shit in the woods? Not like this place ever done me any favors, but anything's better than a foxhole. What's with this shitty weather? They're saying this is the coldest winter on record. Papers say it's gonna keep up like this for weeks. Don't worry, though. A drink will warm you right up. How long's it been since we had a drink together, Vito? Two years? I almost three. Tony Sicelli's party, right? Come on, Vito. Come on. The last drink we had together was right after your romance funeral. Right before you shipped out. You remember. Ah, uh, five minutes. We're already talking about my deadbeat father. Can we change the subject, please? So tell me, pal. What was it like over there, anyway? I kept reading the papers to see what was going on. And you know how much I hate reading? Yeah, I know. You guys kicked Mussolini's ass, right? Ah, uh, sort of. We had a little help from a guy named Don Calo. No shit. Don Calo. I heard of him. Really? You bet. I know guys like him over here, wise guys. You work for them, you set. You fuck with them, you die. Nice to see you've been busy. Yeah, and I heard you got a medal, right? 
from old man Patton himself. Whoa, so you're a real war hero, huh? <laughs> and then what? You screwed a couple of Sicilian broads and came home? Yeah, right. <laughs> the old country. Over here, you can screw anything with a heartbeat. No one gives a shit. What a country. Here's to the U.S. of A. and to having you back home. Salud. A salud. Chin down. So how come you're back? They let you out early for good behavior? Nah, I took a bullet a couple months back, spent some time in the hospital, and now I'm on leave. Wait, wait, wait. You mean you gotta go back? Yeah, <laughs> what'd you think? The war ain't over yet. You don't want to go back, do you? Nah, of course not, but what can I do? One minute. Wait right here. Hey, Giuseppe, it's Joe. Remember uh, last week, you know, the, guy, the guy's name is uh, Vito Scaletta. Thanks, Giuseppe. All right, I'll see you later. Okay, listen up. It appears that your injury is much more serious than it first appeared, and the doctors say you can't fight no more. What? Oh, whoa, whoa. did you just... Like I said, I know people. You get all the official paperwork tomorrow. When it comes to the right stamps and signatures, it's just a question of money. You're kidding me, right? <laughs> Isn't that a bit risky? It's me that could end up in a slammer, you know? And how am I gonna pay for it? I got it covered. Think of it as a welcome home present. And don't worry, the documents will be clean. Trust me. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Come on, fly. You're like a brother to me. Now you can start thinking about what you're gonna do next. Sure. But first, I gotta go home. All right, you wanna ride? No, thanks. I wanna walk around a little, see what's changed since I've been gone. No problem. Say hello to your sister for me. Come see me tomorrow. We got a lot to talk about. I can't believe you just got me out of the service. Thanks again. No problem. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Here we are. All right, thanks. Keep the change. Hey, what's the good word? How you doing, soldier? A lot better now that I'm home. Y you on leave or home for good? That's, uh, classified. So, uh, what's new around here? Tell the truth, not much. Everybody just wants the war to be over already. And they're saying this is the coldest winter on record. I wish I had some good news for you. Yeah, you and me both. All right, I'll see you. Catch you later, buddy. This is, uh... Vito? It is you! You look so handsome in that uniform! Your mother must be so proud! Uh... And what about poor Salvatore Montemaggiore? How's he doing? His poor mother was expecting him home a week ago! Yeah, uh... Sal joined the Navy. I'm in the Army. It's different. Why don't you come inside and have some tea with me, Vito? You could tell me all about it. Thanks, but I'm kind of in a hurry. Uh, I just got back, and I can't wait to see my mother and Frankie. Such a pretty girl, that Francesca. It's a wonder she's not married yet. Well, say hello to your mother for me, Vito.
Fido? Is that you? Hey, Mr. Manara. You closing the shop? Yeah, you know how it is. Can't afford to stay in business. Wow, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, well, the war's not your fault, Vito. Who knows? Maybe when the war ends, I'll open up again. Well, uh, good luck then. Hey, thanks, kid. Thank you. Hi, Mama. I'm back. Vito. Vito, my boy. <laughs> my boy's home. I thought I'd never see you again. <laughs> Francesca and me, we wait. Hey, sis, what's going on? We wait for you. Uh, yeah. Oh. Sit down, sit down. You must be hungry, Vito. Francesca made you a special dinner. Zuppa di pollo. It's good for you. Looks good, Frankie. It's a shame your papa didn't live to see this. He would be so proud, Vito. Yeah, sure. Vito, you know better. Sorry, Mama, sorry. Benice, signore, pronunciare che porta la volontà. Stiamo ricevendo, provvedere a quello che ci viene in mano. You should get some sleep. Your room is just like you left it. I'll see you two in the morning. Sleep well, mio bambino. This ain't gonna cut it. I gotta find a place to stay.
So you have to go back soon? Actually, uh, looks like I won't. Uh, Joe's taking care of it for me. Joe, you want to get into trouble again? Mama, would you rather me go back and get shot again? No. Exactly. No. Joe probably saved my life. Promise that you won't get in any more trouble with that, Joe. You know, your papa used to work for this man at the waterfront named Papa Lardo. He's in the union. You could talk to him, work hard like you were your papa. Talk to him. Please, promise me you go talk to him today. Okay, Mama, okay, I promise. Grazie, Dio. I don't I'm give a sorry. damn. I don't we'll care if you gotta money. sell hey, everything you got. What the hell's going on here? Vito! You mind your business, no. asshole. Oh, yeah? yeah? Come on, Junior. I'm gonna take you to school. Oh, tough guy. Scaring a woman, huh? Come on. Show me what you got. Vito, <clears throat> please. You're making it even worse. Ah. Ah. Yeah, that's right. Get the fuck out of here. You're gonna be sorry. The both of you. What the hell was that all about? I'm sorry, Vito. We didn't want to bother you with this. Bother me? Bother me with what? Come on, tell me what's going on here, Frankie. Right before he died, Papa borrowed money. A lot of money from a loan shark. Thinking he'd get a better job and pay him back. We found out right after you left for the war. How much? Two thousand dollars. What? Shit. The worst thing is, this guy wants it all back by the end of this week. Otherwise, the debt goes up again. <sighs> I ain't gonna make that kind of money working at the port. Who is this guy? I don't know. Mama won't tell me. It's okay, Vito. We'll manage somehow. Don't worry. I'll take care of this. I promise. Thanks, Vito. Take care of yourself. I gotta get my hands on two grand fast. I bet Joe could help me out. <laughs> 